hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a page to place the order and we created the api to get all orders in our spring boot application and in today's video we will call this get all orders api and we will create a page to show all the orders to the admin and after that we will create the api to update the status of the order so let's get started to create the api call we can go to the admin service and here we need to copy this get coupons api and we can paste it here and we need to rename this method to get placed orders and the type of the api call will be get and we will pass the url after that and the url is api slash admin slash placed order instead of coupons and that's it for our api call now let's save this file and now we need to create the component so we can right click on our components package and we can open it in integrated terminal and here we need to give the command to create the component which is ng g for generate c for component and the component name should be orders and as you can see our orders component is ready now let's go to the routing file of our admin and let's create the route for this orders component and to do that we can duplicate this existing line and for the path we need to replace it with orders and for the component we need to replace this with orders component our routing file is completed now let's save this file as well and let's open our orders component and here we need to open the ts file here in the orders component first of all we need to create a variable to hold the orders and this can be of type any and after that we need to create the constructor for this file and in this constructor we need to inject the admin service and mat snack bar now let's import this and after the constructor we need to create a method and we can name this method as get placed orders and in this method we will use our admin service and we will call get all placed orders method and then we need to subscribe this and we can name our response as res and then we need to write the arrow function and in this function we can update our orders and we can set it equal to res now we need to create the ng on init method here and in this method we can call our get all orders method now let's save this file and let's go to the html file of our orders component and in this html file we need to create a div and then a mat card and in this mat card we need to write another div for the mat card content and in this mat card content we need to write the code for the mat table and in the data source we need to pass the orders and after this we need to mention the columns of this table and the first column we want is the tracking id and we can show the value by calling order dot tracking id and after the tracking id we can write the code for the column to show the user name and after the user name we need two columns to show the amount and the description of the order and after the order description we need to show the address of the order so we can create another column and after the address we need to show the date and the order status and to format the date i am using the date pipe here and then i am passing the format which i need and after the status column we need to show a button to change the status so we can use the mat menu component and in the options we can give it two buttons the first one is shipped and the second one is delivered and after this we need to pass the header row for this table and here we can mention all the columns 
and after the header row we need to write the code to generate the rows and we can use the same columns for this now let's save this file and let's go to the css file and let's paste here the css code you can pause the video and copy the css code or you can write your own code now let's save this file as well and let's run our application as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of orders page and here on the login page we need to login as admin and after the login we can click on this orders button and you can see we got the order details which we placed in the previous video now let's go to our backend application and let's create the api to update the action of the order and to create this api we can go to the admin order service implementation and here we need to create an other method and it will return order dto and we can name this method as change order status and here in the params we need to mention long order id and after that we need to mention string status and inside this method we need to create a variable of optional of order and we can name this as optional order and here we need to call our order repository dot find by id method and we can pass the order id in the params and after this we need to write here one if condition and in this if condition we will check optional order dot is present and if our order is present then here we can create another variable of order and we can set the value of this by calling optional order dot get and after this we need to write here one if condition and in this if condition we need to check our status from the params and we can use object dot equals and here we need to pass the status and for the comparison we need to compare it with shift and if this is true then we need to update the order and we will call dot set order status method and here we need to pass order status dot shift and after this we need to write an other condition so we can write else if and in this if condition we will use same object dot equals and instead of shift we will check the status as delivered and if this is true then we can copy this line here and we can paste it here and instead of shift we need to pass delivered and after this we need to write the return statement here and we can call our order repository dot save method and in the params we can pass the order and then we need to call get order dto method to convert this to order dto and at the end if our order is not present then we will write the return statement and we will return null now let's copy this and let's mention here in the admin order service now let's go to our admin order controller and here we need to write the endpoint and it will return a response entity and we can name this method as change order status and in the params we need to mention at the rate path variable annotation and the first param we want is long order id and after this we need to give an other annotation for the path variable and this time we will mention string status and inside this method we will create a variable of order dto and we can name this as order dto and here we need to call our admin order service dot change order status method and in the params we will pass the order id and then status and after this we will write here one if condition and we will check order dto is equal is equals to null and if this is true then we will write return statement and we will return new response entity 
and in the body of this response entity we will pass the message as something went wrong and after that we will return http status dot bad request and if this is not true then we will write the return statement and we will return response entity and here we need to call the status method and for the status we will return http status dot ok and then in the body we will pass order dto and at the end we need to mention the mapping annotation and here we will use at the rate get mapping and for the path of this endpoint we will pass slash order and here we need to mention the path variable and we need to use the order id here and after that we will mention the second path variable which is status and that's it for our endpoint now let's run our application again and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and that's it for this video in the next video we will call this api and we will create another api and page to show the orders of the customer